Hi guys, we are on Pure Arch, Arch Linux. And this particular SSD, you know I have a bay. I used the ISO of January the 2nd of 2020, when out 23. So the idea of Arch Linux that it rolls. It means you update, you update, you update, you update. You don't need to do a reinstallation. So this is the ISO that I keep around that I say, look guys, it is possible to just keep on updating 2020 and just keep rolling, right? All you require is knowledge. And whatever they're saying online, that it's, I don't know, all kinds of things they're saying about Arch, right? Never mind, never mind. Because there are so many videos out here that show you how to update. Now, I keep rolling and keep stable and keep fast, etc., etc. right? The thing I want to make a video about is I don't like this alacrity being all dark. Why is it not transparent? Configurations, right? Now, I wonder if on this machine that I have installed here is, well, first off, did you notice what we're on? Because this could have been i3 as well, more or less, because it depends on the look. Left WM is here installed and anything else do we have xd here the alias xd is present so left wm and plasma desktop or the both uh, exist on the same ssd right <coughs> alacrity do i have let's see super shift d if that's working super shift d is there pam mac do we have that so pam mac is not installed in this machine Okay, Alacrity, right? Can I see Pacman minus Q and then give me information? Information about Alacrity. Now, I wonder which, which again it was. I want to know what files bring this particular, um, well, this particular package, what is the content of it, right? So I need to go to pacman, man pacman, no such directory. So the on this Arch Linux system, you have to think about everything. It's it's uh, you start with the Arch Linux ISO and then figure it out. So there is something called man, man DB, man pages, probably the man pages, because once you've figured it out, you just put it on the, the ISOs. And then it's done, right? Now, then we have the mirrors. So mirrors is a place where the databases are and of course also the packages are. So we're downloading the databases. They tell Pacman there on that server, this package exists in that version. So I need to update my um, mirror list. So let's see if this exists and mirror list. It's going to come from Cilian, which is not something I'd like to do. But I see the second one, that's one I like, Osbeck. So Control X, yes, save. When I update, I get the packages from Osbeck in. And yes, that's, that's for later, we'll make a video how to stay rolling. So Alacrity. <clears throat> um, right, Alacrity. So I was looking for the, the man pages. So if we go up this one, let's see if that works. Yes. Do we have the man for Pac-Man, right? So the man page is not the thing I need. There's also man DB. Was that the thing we need? Man package. And then let's see what's more. Man DB, man doc, man pages all the languages i don't care about the languages there is something else what was it again man db let me pause and look at the list all right i found it of course you have to read what it says cannot execute must pseudo pacman minus s must and then we say man pacman all right, so I want to have the, the content, the query, or it's an S, it depends. 
I want to see the list of the files. Query the files database as F. Uh -huh. Owned by certain packages. Yes. Config. Query options. Let's see. Query options. Information. List. All files owned by a given package. L. Quit. What we're going to do with this one, right? It's L that we need. Oh. So this is provided with the package Alacrity. Mm, right. Is there an example? Yes, there is an example. User share doc Alacrity example Alacrity YML. Control Shift C. Super Shift Enter. This is Tunar. Copy paste it up here. Control V. Enter. And then we'll see if we did anything. If we, if there's something that's gonna pop up. Let's go for to check if sudo pacman minus s sublime text is installed. It was installed, so why is it not popping up? Am I missing an enter? Oh yeah. <laughs> No, Alacrity is installed. Well, well, okay, let's navigate to it and user share doc Alacrity. Okay, user share doc Alacrity example, this one. Control C, Eric, dot config, Alacrity, not there, create folder, Alacrity. Put it in here, control V, and well. So, super enter. Here's your alacrity, super enter. And then we have a look. So, this is the. Ugh. What's this? Right mouse click. K, K, right, sublime text. Set as default application. And then we take sublime text. OK. And now we get this by. Open with Sublime Text. Nothing happening. Ah, there he is. Another page. So this we don't need, that we don't need. Another workspace, I mean, of course. So here's the configuration for Alacrity. Control Find, Transparent. Okay, another Transparent. Trans, Transparent. Opacity, right? 1.0. That's completely opaque dot nine was it control z control z yeah it was control y control y control y and then go up opacity 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 this one you need as well window needs to be opaque opacity 0 0.9 control s save it control t this is alacrity voila and we have Alacrity that's now um, transparent. And there are lots more things, of course, we've made. Uh, once we've figured everything out, we make a package. sudo pacman minus s article links Alacrity git. And that's that. And uh, once that, everything is done. So here on Arch, I have to do it myself. And this is how it's done with any application. So workflow-wise, that's, that's why the video is here, right? Workflow-wise, exact same thing. If the developers take themselves serious, they give you a configuration somewhere, sometimes also in etc xdg, so have a look there as well. xdg is often a place where they put something and grab the configuration, put it where it's supposed to be. How do you know where it's supposed to be? By reading, right? Man alacrity. Often they say, we first gonna check here, then we're gonna check there, then we're gonna check there. If we don't find anything, then okay, Voila, it's gonna be our default. So he, you can put it also here in the home dot alacrity. But I think it's a better place that everything is together inside the dot config. So we have an overview of all the configuration of all the applications you have. 
put it in there, put your own Alacrity there, and maybe use something like Arclix Nemesis scripts on github.com, Ergebois Arclix Nemesis. Copy paste your Alacrity after every clean installation on anything based on Arch. Well, Alacrity is not linked to Arch links alone, so anything goes if it's copy pasting of a config. All right, that's the video. Next video is I'll install this, uh, keep rolling this uh, Arch Linux and see if there are key issues, right? Always the same thing. Keys, keys, keys.